So is there like a textbook way as to how your pelvis should be moving? So the book we learned from back in school, which guess what? Is that a print now? <laughs> White and Punjabi are the authors, Clinical Biomechanics of the Spine. And they are the authorities in spinal biomechanics. So the movement patterns are all there. And you know what I'll do? I will actually do a video, a reel, on explaining individual intersegmental motion that each vertebrae has already been quantified in the cervical thoracic lumbar region, that this is the amount of movement that should be happening in terms of flexion, extension, uh, side bends, and rotation. The other thing it talks about is nutation and counter nutation, which is what? It's the movement of the pelvis and the sacrum, so at the SI joint. When the pelvis moves up, the ilium moves up, there is a nutation, mm. counter nutation that goes back and forth like this. So when we have an AS pelvis where it's stuck up, causes a little bit of that opposite nutation going back. So the sacrum goes slightly back and we have a straightening of the spine. Someone who has a PI ilium, it's gone back. There's a slight forward movement of the sacrum. It, gets, it stays in that position and that person has too much curve. One more thing I wanna mention real quick. This is really important. So runners, athletes, everybody. And we talked about what is the importance of chiropractic in everyone's life. So locomotion in the human body, where does it come from? In a car, we have an engine, right? Mm -hmm. But where does it come from? Take a guess. I think of the nervous system. Part of it, yes, but there's specific motions that happen, I'll explain. So locomotion in the human body happens this way, and this is in white and Punjabi. It doesn't come from the hips, the power. It doesn't come from the legs even. Locomotion comes from lateral flexion of the lumbar spine. Mm. So this is the way we get locomotion. Starts lateral bend, right? So lateral bend, ipsilateral, same side, rotation. Lateral bend, ipsilateral. This is where locomotion comes from, okay? So think about one segment is stuck in the lumbar spine and you don't have Still lateral off. flexion, so you're not getting <laughs> locomotion or you're walking <laughs> off balance. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And that is one of the most important keys for everyone's movement, that if there's restriction in the lumbar spine, you're not either getting full power or you're getting uneven power. So you can work it out all day long. You gotta get your spine checked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was awesome. Great. Thank you. Thank you for asking the question. <laughs>